Welcome friends to another video, welcome back to another fragrance review, welcome back to another Alexander J fragrance and this time around I'm going to talk about Black Mass from the Collector series. This came to the market in 2012 just like the other ones and this one is quite an interesting fragrance because um, it's marketed as being a unisex fragrance but in reality just like Morning Masks which I already reviewed this one leans a lot on the feminine side. So for me, Black Mask is a feminine fragrance, but this doesn't mean that uh, you cannot try it first, see how it smells, uh, see how it performs on your skin as a man, and probably you can wear it, I don't know. Let's talk about the presentation, as always, a uh, very beautiful presentation from the house of Alexander J. This is the outer box or the bigger box, and this is the box with the fragrance. They come in black this time around compared to all the others that uh, I've already reviewed. And this is how the bottle looks. Very, very beautiful, beautiful presentation. I really love uh, the presentation of uh, this house and also the presentation of this collection. There is even better than uh, the collector. It's called uh, the Majestic. Uh, collection and uh, the presentation is taken to another level at uh, those ones but today we're going to talk about black masks and its composition because this is what's uh, interesting to us the composition and how it smells so we have in the top notes bergamot and lemon we have in the heart rose patchouli and violet and in the base we have amber and white musk so, quite simplistic, but it does smell interesting, mainly because after the opening I get a, um, let's say, a very interesting metallic, almost mineral vibe behind uh, the bergamot and the lemon. It's not synthetic, it's not uh, artificial, it's plain simple metallic, just like uh, in uh, Dent de Lay from Serge Lutens, for example where you get that uh, cold iron bar feeling, which is very, very dominant. So this is what happens to me, or at least on my skin, with uh, black masks from uh, Alexander J. Afterwards comes, or better said, emerges the huge infusion and the main accord of this fragrance, and that is the combination between rose and violet. We have patchouli in this fragrance, we also have amber in this fragrance, but to be honest with you, on my skin, I, um, I actually cannot de detect them. They are very faint. The rose is very strong and the violet in this one, it's also very strong and uh, it simply elevates the strength of the rose. Therefore, the main accord of the whole fragrance is this violet rose accord. But it doesn't stop there, because from the base comes a huge blast of white musk, which elevates it even further and intensifies the strength of uh, the rose found in this one. And to my nose, it uh, seems to be pink rose, which is very feminine for me. And uh, I don't really enjoy it. Not in real life, not in fragrances. I love red, dark roses. But uh, this one, to me, seems to be pink rose, which makes the whole fragrance to lean on the feminine side. And it is very feminine to my nose. I bought it just like morning mass for uh, myself. I ended up uh, gifting it to my uh, wife for Christmas as a present. And uh, curiously enough, uh, for the second time in life, uh, my wife actually said that she likes a fragrance that I gifted to her which is a Christmas miracle. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about because I know her tastes and I was so very afraid that she would not like this fragrance. So, the, the fragrance itself is interesting, but only if you love feminine roses. Um, therefore, to me, this fragrance gets, uh, gets uh, sorry, a recommendation uh, for women to sniff it, to wear it, to purchase it. It's a fragrance that uh, can be uh, worn year-round, so uh, you can wear it in spring, in summer, in fall, 
Also in winter, though, uh, from what I noticed, in uh, winter temperatures, it doesn't perform that great. Also, you can wear it um, casually, semi-formal, formally, so very flex flexible, very versatile in, uh, let's say, uh, terms of uh, clothing scenarios, where and how to dress up and whatnot. In terms of performance, this fragrance performs good. Not great, not the best that I've seen from this house, and especially not great compared to morning masks. That one, if you want potent fragrances, if you want uh, monster fragrances, that one is the fragrance that you want to get um, from this line. Because it's um, basically it's twice better than black musk in longevity, in projection, in uh, sillage and whatnot. This one is a more tempered, if you want, uh, down version of morning musk. And also, I see this being worn a bit more in the evening or at night compared to morning masks. Let's say morning mask is the fragrance uh, to wear, uh, let's say, from um, sunrise to sunset. And uh, black mask is the fragrance you need to wear uh, from uh, sunset onwards. Interesting fragrance. Not a big fan of the rose inside. It's too feminine. Uh, I, as a man, could not wear this one. It's, um, I don't know, it's irritating to my nose to, to feel this type of uh, scent. I've seen a lot of people uh, comment, uh, commenting in uh, Fragrantica and whatnot, uh, saying that this one is actually a masculine fragrance. I'm sorry to say it, but it isn't. It, it really isn't. Uh, also, this isn't overly expensive though we are talking about a niche house so uh, you can also find uh, if you want uh, um, samples official samples from uh, from this house which i highly encourage you to purchase first before purchasing a full bottle test the fragrance on your skin see how it smells see how it performs on your skin because we are different individuals and uh, my uh, Skin's chemistry is different than yours, therefore you may get different results. Afterwards, after you warm the fragrance, based on your own conclusions, you can decide to purchase or not a full bottle. It gets recommendation from me, but only as a female scent, not as a male scent. Uh, therefore, this is Black Masks from uh, the Collector series. From the house of Alexandra J. Good fragrance, interesting. What was peculiar for me was that uh, metallic, almost mineral accord that was sitting behind the uh, citrusy opening and also for a long period sitting behind um, the rose and violet combo. So that's, uh, that's quite interesting for me, but as I said, this happens on my skin. I don't know if you're gonna get it on your skin. Give it a try, see how it is, therefore you can decide to buy it or not. This pretty much does it for this video guys, thank you for watching, as always, be safe, be good, peace.